Welcome to the CFA Connections how-to tutorial on hot towels. In this tutorial we will discuss the various types of hot towels that you may have on board your aircraft, when you can or should serve the hot towels, they actually can be served hot or cold, how to properly use essential oils, how to present and collect the hot towels, and finally we are sharing seven folds you can use starting with the standard fold. Hot towels actually originated in Japan and were used to wash your hands prior to a meal service. The English translation of Oshibori is basically hot towel. These also can be served cold which are excellent during the summer months or in hot humid tropical climates. We're now going to discuss the various types of hot towels that you may have on board your aircraft. Most hot towels used on business jets are disposable. The first type is the individually packaged hot towels which are available unscented or in a variety of scents and all brands vary. Disposable cloth hot towels. These typically come packaged in eight or 10 per container along with the disposable plastic hinge tong. Next, disposable bamboo hot towels. These do tend to be more expensive than the disposable cloth packaged versions, but you will immediately notice the quality and softness of these towels. They're amazing. These typically also include disposable tongs made out of bamboo. The last disposable type are the compressed or mini compressed hot towels. These are excellent for tableside service if you're seeking a wow factor moment. When you pour the water on top of the compressed towel, it starts to expand. These can also be monogram or logo pressed as well. Ah, les légumes. Nous avons des haricots verts ou des pommes de terre. Ah, uh, les deux. I don't want to be critical, but this is very chewy. Cool. You're eating a hand towel. <laughs> Just uh, cleansing my palate. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, the cloth hot towel. Basically, these are washcloths. So they'll be larger than the disposable hot towels and required to be laundered. These can be purchased at any kitchen or home supply store or of course online. We're going to talk about the service items you need to do a proper hot towel service. Obviously you need the hot towels, a serving tray, tongs which can be silver or gold metal or stainless steel, or they can also be the disposable tongs that were included in the package. This is the one time that using disposable tongs is completely appropriate. And of course you'll need some way of having hot water, whether using a microwave or a hot pot to pour the hot water over the hot towels to heat them. You have a few options of when you can present hot towels. You can offer them during the boarding process or just prior to the beginning of the meal service, at the completion of the meal service, or just prior to landing on an extended or a long haul flight. Now, if you only have enough hot towels for one service, they should be completed before the meal service begins, or if it's policy and standards for the flight operation that you fly for, to be done during the boarding process. If you have enough in stock, it's always a really nice touch for long haul international flights to serve a hot towel or a cold towel prior to landing so that the clients can refresh. 
There are several ways to heat hot towels on board the aircraft. This example, we're using the bamboo container which has five hot towels per package with the disposable tongs. And we're actually going to use the container to heat them up. Now if you don't need to use all the hot towels, save the ones for later and you can either use a Ziploc bag or the container in this case because we're using a hot pot to heat them. Be very cautious when pouring the hot water onto the hot towels so you're not basically drowning them and have a lot of excess water. Simply flip the container and use the base to squeeze out all the excessive water. Then simply transfer them onto a serving tray. Give them a little shush, like you just didn't squeeze all the water out of them. And make sure that it's seam side up so you can easily grab it with your tongs and present to the client. If you're doing colder ice towels, same rule applies. Put them in ice water in a Ziploc bag and keep them in that chiller or in the ice drawer until you're ready to serve. And then once again, squeeze all of the excess water out and serve them. Using essential oils with your hot towels can nicely enhance your service. However, always be aware of allergies and notify your clients of the scent or fragrance you have used, such as May I offer you a lemongrass hot towel? Some flight operations may not even allow you to use essential oils in the cabin due to allergies. So if you're unaware or unsure, it's always best to ask first. Avoid using real lemon juice for scenting your hot towels. If the client washes their face and the lemon juice gets into their eyes, it is extremely painful. If you are using real lemon juice, then you must notify the client that the towels are for hand use only. When using essential oil drops, I find the best way is to use a Ziploc bag filled with water. Then you add a few drops of the essential oil and mix the water in the baggie to fully infuse the oil with the water. Once it's mixed, add the towels into the baggie and fully mix the water with the towels and then heat them in the microwave or you can return them to the container and heat in that fashion. By adding the essential oil in the water first and mixing it, the towels will come out perfectly every time. Otherwise, if you put the hot towels into the baggie in the water first, then you add the essential oil, the towels most likely will be stained and this is definitely not what you want. Another solution is using essential oil sprays to add the scent to the already heated towels. Once again, as a reminder, when you're presenting hot towels off of a tray, all the flaps or folds are on the top so you can easily grab it with the tongs, give it a good shake, this diffuses the heat, and then you present it to the client. Once they are done and they discarded the hot towel, whether it's still in their hands, on the table, the sidewall, then you collect it with the tongs, whether they be the disposable ones or the steel ones. And unless you're able to wash dishes, those tongs are done because they're contaminated. 